Was this drama something someone came to you about or was it like this drama was given to me accidentally because I tweeted about my dislike of people posting extremely serious allegations, giving zero fucking evidence and just stringing people along with the promise of, oh, there totally is evidence, I promise. And then as soon as they're called out, they ditch like the cowardly little hypocritical bitches they are. An account called Fennec and Draws commented about disliking the same thing but mentioning something very specific, that being accused of being a pedophile and being accused of being in a CP ring. And then an account called Karomi Batwings responded to that, tagging both the original tweeter and myself, because this was on my thread, with a DeviantArt stash and an accusation saying, yeah, you got accused of that because it's totally what you did. We went over the stash and the accusations against Kenji last time. Kenji contacted me, I guess after seeing the fact that I had gone over this, and decided to give me his side of the situation. And that's what we're going over today. Out of curiosity, how frustrating is this drama? I wouldn't say it's frustrating, I'd just say it's stupid. This shit just looks like petty drama between petty children. <laughs> what started Toxic's Ridiculousness? I don't know. I would like to know. I don't remember if I saw that directly, but yes, Kenji was being accused of being a pedophile and accused of being in a CP ring. I haven't seen those accusations yet from Toxic T, but I did see those accusations when it was fucking brought to my attention on Twitter. So the fact that they're accusing Kenji of serious, serious fucking things, like being in a CP ring and all the goddamn evidence they are giving is, oh, they stole my palette. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you stupid, petty little brats. So it starts with the pedo claim and then it just spirals. Well, I don't know if it started with the pedo claim. That's the thing. We don't know exactly how it started. We know that at some point the pedo claim became a part of the accusations along with the CP claim. I went over that in my last research stream. It was garbage. They had literally nothing to fucking prove it. And if anything, it looked like the people who were accusing Kenji of being in a CP ring may actually have been spreading around actual CP of Kenji at the time. Now, I can't confirm that, but that's what it looked like from the screenshots that they were giving as proof that Kenji was bad. Yeah, according to Kenji, this has been going on since he was 11. He's currently 18. Thank you so much for doing this stream, by the way. I was completely oblivious to any of the new stuff with Kenji, and it was only that my friend pointed the stream out to me that I was aware, and I wanted to see if things had gotten better with Kenji and how much bullshit had been spread. No heckin' problem. I'm like a lot of you. I really don't like people being dragged for shit that isn't true online, and just like being harassed and having their reputations destroyed. I really, really don't like it. It breeds an environment online that I don't want to exist, and I would really 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 just like to encourage some more critical thinking so that people aren't constantly falling for this crap because like it happens a lot. Will this be a video? I don't know. I'm legitimately already working on a lot of really big projects right now. I don't know if I could tack another thing in. I suppose Kenji could use the streams as proof. Just save them, re-upload them on YouTube, and lick them every time it's relevant. Yeah. The problem is I know that my research streams are long and not everybody has the want to sit through it. So maybe if there were someone who could like edit them down to a digestible degree. I don't have anybody like that at the moment and I don't have the time to go looking for someone like that. What I would actually actually like to start is I would like to encourage other community members to take inspiration from my research streams and make content of their own. I find that individually I take way too long to create this content and I'm always working on too many projects at a time. I would like to encourage other people who watch my streams to do any additional research they might need to themselves and make their own videos. You guys fucking profit off of it. Go ahead. I will do the research streams. You can listen to it. You can like do other stuff and you can just prof off of this shit that I do. I have no fucking qualms with that as long as like this shit gets corrected. I don't care who makes money from it. As long as you guys are still thinking critically and if I make a mistake you should correct it or whatever make sure that information doesn't continue to spread and then like you can totally just use my research as a basis to make your own videos. I have absolutely no fucking issue with it. I encourage it in fact. A lot of the time this is just like really really toxic stuff that hurts people and it's really sad to see it constantly getting thrown around and perpetuated online and there need to be more people to talk about it because I can't do it all on my own. They are claiming I made a post on LolCow claiming Milky has stolen. Oh, this one? Okay. When you look at the picture, you can clearly see it includes someone saying, I just found out their age and making fun of their, and both of these prove it isn't Kenji because Kenji has known his age for a whole ass year. 
That doesn't prove it's not Kenji. Kenji can lie. <laughs> Anybody can fucking lie, as I have learned. Including your goddamn friends. Other posts include a post claiming an account. Wait, I want to see the wall cow thing. Oh, I'm already at 200%. I fucking hate when people do this shit. You can't read any of it in full. Okay, so this is the sad bunny pastel thing. Or sad pastel bunny one. I don't know if this is where I post about this, but then this weird ass 20 year old that something recently just found out their age. So Milky's 20? When was this posted? Of course it doesn't fucking say. And even claim the account stole from someone known as <gasps> oh no okay I don't know how many of you guys are gonna recognize that name but I recognize the name graffiti alopecia I took an issue with a video that graffiti alopecia was making a while back where they were accusing someone named Klug of shit I told them that their video is bad and they sort of had a breakdown about it. I think they eventually did remove the video, but if you have a breakdown because you're being told that you're wrong and you're incorrectly spreading misinformation and your response is, no, I must be right. You shouldn't be doing drama shit. Like if you can't admit that you might have been misinformed, you can't be doing this shit because that just means that you're going to further spread that misinformation out of petty, bullshittery little spite. Dealing with so much IRL and online shit, I became what they wanted me to be. Then I became a troll to deal with it. Then I stopped and realized I was bad. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to bring up because one of the things that Happy Soft was bringing up against Kenji, and this is the thing I was laughing at because Kenji was laughing at Happy Soft and like making jokes about Happy Soft being sexually assaulted. And then Happy Soft was like, oh no, I was actually sexually assaulted. Thinking for some fucking reason that was going to get the troll actively trolling them to stop. That's just stupid and naive. Apparently, I'm bad for laughing at that. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. The account stole from someone known as Graffiti Alopecia when it actually steals from Kenji, which is the thing that really annoys me. You'll call out the account is stealing, but refuse to call out the fact that it's stealing from Kenji. Thus, you just blame the account for being Kenji. That's pathetic. Yeah, if they were actively aware that the account was stealing from Kenji and they still accused Kenji of being behind the account, that just seems like they're being maliciously ignorant. They're deliberately being a dumbass. <laughs> this is something Kenji claimed the person behind the account stole from him. I can clearly claim to the images are Kenzie's. He pointed out to Milky. I can see here it's the old eye shape. Who cares? Oh my god. Basically Toxic is lying about Kenji stealing on this account for attention. Yeah, gather. Toxic has yet again posted claiming Kenji is apparently attacking them but has decided to keep Olive out because you know Toxic has a raging obsession boner for Milky and anyone who actively is friends with Milky doesn't get to be attacked. You can clearly tell. Toxic left their account on private because people kept sending Kenji screenshots. The most recent screen we got from Kenji is really unnerving. It talks about Toxic wishing to dox Kenji as well as, uh, is this just hearsay? Uh, as Bash's skull hit, a person who was following Toxic's private Twitter informed of Kenji of the situation and has sent, oh, it has sent us the evidence. <gasps> Show me the evidence. Hey, so the account Toxic T, who I'm sure you're very aware of by now, keeps posting about a supposed Twitter account. Not the point of this, and I could hardly care if it is or not, but I just wanted to warn you that they're constantly talking about wanting to kill you and bash Kenji's brain in, which isn't cool no matter. And I'm not trying to start problems, just a genuine concern for any safety of yours. I want to see this. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Fuck off. This is not them sending you evidence. Okay, that pisses me off. I want to see screenshots of Toxic T tweeting about how much they want to kill. I don't want to see it, but like in this context, I want to see it. Censor their stuff to keep them anonymous. This is what they sent Kenji around five in the morning. November on Kenji's old account. Apparently Toxic keeps talking about wanting to- I want to see that. Not only this, but Toxic has basically made up blatant li okay so we're just gonna not show those fucking twitter screenshots you can't just say that someone said this thing and then not show me the evidence i don't believe this period you have screenshots of everything else from toxic's fucking twitter why don't you have screenshots of toxic wishing harm on kenji that is like the most important thing here not only this toxic has basically made up blatant lies claimed that he has stolen character yes we already know you literally went over this you are literally repeating things the original picture yes got it oh my god how many fucking things are we going to go through. Is this just all of their individual stupid fucking accounts and the dumbass shit they do on each of them? I'm gonna die. This account before it went silent was used to trace someone known as Cream Puff Draws. Yes, we saw that referenced earlier. The account now goes by Milky Blueberry and is currently still silent. The account blocked me after contacting me about a situation where they dead named Kenji and have since gone into silence after that. Their account went private a while back after being called out for tracing. Wow. Doesn't that look fucking familiar? <laughs> you were blocked. You can clearly tell 
tell it's toxic because of the profile picture. That's not how that works. Like, by that logic, I am the creator of whatever the fuck the game my character and my Twitter profile picture is from. And I'm definitely not the creator of that game. The account was caught tracing Cream Puff, and thus why it went down. I have evidence this account not only existed, but again, admitted it was toxic. The account had multiple names. Yes, and this was the account that I think we saw Happy Soft being convinced was Kenji incorrectly, allegedly by Toxic T now. It may also be pronounced Toxic Tia, I don't care. So many people have written in this doc, I just kind of think multiple people's writing pieces were slapped together. It really does seem that way. There are multiple sentences where like, they just constantly repeat things, it's kind of annoying. Like if you're gonna make a document this long, make it succinct. Don't repeat shit, you're just wasting my time. And like, as you can see, it's already taken us forever to go over this. Okay, so Purple Cows is an account that was used to trace and steal from others. The account got called out on an exposed account and went deathly silent. Even blocking the person that exposed them, no duh. <laughs> Toxic thought said account was Kenji, thus calling them out as well as admitting to den naming someone. The account admits it's toxic and the person's DMs and later blocked them after being called out. I would show what they did exactly, but again, they deleted their account right after they were called out. It's a fact. They dead named an autistic trans person and stole from them. Okay, so this is talking to Milky Berry. This bitch. Also, we know you're toxic. Come on now. Stop lying to hide behind a separate account to act big. I have a feeling it's you, Kenji. Aw, uh, okay. Hi, toxic. Hi, Kenji. How does it feel trying to hide behind a separate account to act big because you can't defend yourself from someone telling the truth? Just because I dead named someone doesn't mean you have to harass me constantly. LMAO, XD. You're hiding behind a separate account to act big. LMAO, that's actually funny as shit. You are insensitive. <laughs> How so? Because they were laughing at you being a bitch. Fuck off. Name not just a trans person as well stole from them. You do realize that they can and will send you to court, right? Ah! Uh, no. I mean, you feasibly maybe could, but that doesn't mean you're gonna win the case. And you'd still have to pay for a fucking lawyer, which guaranteed Kenji did not have the money for. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you can no longer send messages to this account, as we can see, changed to puppy cows. Yep. Okay, that's a good means of confirming that it's puppy cows. Toxic and Kenji. Does this explain the original beef? I would like that. I remember my friend streaming them texting this. It was kind of funny. As seen above, Toxic has had a pass for stealing from Kenji as well as making accounts just to claim he is them. Toxic not only made a whole ass exposing account against Kenji, which they can be found to admitting to doing on their now private Twitter, show me, also used their own art to provoke Kenji into reacting to continued drama that wasn't needed. This fucking creep on Instagram not only took the colors from <laughs> palette theft. I'm sorry. If your thing is, oh, they stole my colors. Go fuck yourself. You're a child. For my comfort OC, which is so what? Would it not matter if they stole the colors from a not comfort OC? This is just like the Kaimurama thing. Does it matter how personal the character is to you that determines whether or not someone is allowed to trace and steal the design? No. You're just being all like, oh, it's my comfort character to make what you're accusing Kenji of having done seem even worse than it actually is. Which is the blue rabbit. They took a design from my baby doll OC and copied the color from my goat OC. I don't fucking care not the other way around. If you're going to start drama, then do it. Okay, you were the one who drew my OC without my permission, and literally I know it's you, Kenji. You're a well-known liar. So, fun facts with T. Cappuccino Core slash Kenji. Blackwash, two characters from Yandere Simulator, and literally gets mad at me because of one accusation. This I'm sorry, are we getting mad at Kenji for blackwashing characters now? I redesigned Yandere Simulator characters and made them all have unique ethnicities. Okay, guys, blackwashing is not bad. The only instance in which blackwashing would be bad is if, like, I guess the blackwashing involves you creating like racial stereotypes like racist racial stereotypes that would be bad but in general there's like such a lack of poc characters blackwashing is not the fucking same thing as whitewashing and it's not as bad as people will usually lead others to believe usually the people who have an issue with blackwashing are either misinformed or they're carrying racist ideologies sometimes without realizing it blackwashing is not a fucking issue this post got taken down because of hate speech and i am currently redesigning one of my oc because he drew them without telling me and claimed it was fan art. Oh my god, go fuck yourself, Toxic. You really are Toxic, holy shit. Inside of their Instagram posts about him, they claim that he blackwashed the Andre Simulator character. Yeah, we saw. He was redesigning them, also claims that they will be redesigning an OC just because Kenji thought it would be a nice gesture to end the drama by drawing their character fan art. Claimed it isn't fan art because their OC doesn't have lips. According to Toxic T, making tiny, minuscule changes that don't actually change the design.
design of the character, such as changing their fucking outfit, is changing the character design, so I'm not really surprised that Toxic tried to be all like, it's not fan art because my character doesn't have lampstick. Just before this, Toxic either heavily referenced from or downright stole from Kenji, stealing not only their character, but also how they uploaded it. A little caption with it can be found inside of Toxic T's theft under Emo Doggo. Okay, who fucking cares? September 30th of a date I don't know. Just before this, they also made a post telling people to mass block and report Kenji because they keep making accounts to harass people, which in this document we have proved is false. Not necessarily. You've just proved that Toxic T has a lot of these different accounts. However, you have managed to prove that Toxic T was accusing Kenji of running accounts that they were running, so that is fair. And dedicated their time to try and keep the drama going themselves, as was also stated in the document. So Kenji, aka Hapuchino Core, made a post, so if he starts drama, he won't be seeing the end of it, so report and block the bitch because I'm tired of Kenji making accounts to harass people. A lot of their art pieces are directed towards Kenji also, some of them telling him to fuck off. How are you supposed to tell that this is directed towards Kenji? You can't. You would- Oh no, wait, what? Others saying fuck off cunt and others saying some heavy slurs. <gasps> Stop being fucking dumb. Why don't you? Oh my god. Projection. Wow. If you need any proof that someone is toxic, constantly making characters, addressing the viewers angrily, and telling them to fuck off. I don't know, says a lot. I want to see the fucking post where they used the tea slur. That's a serious accusation. I want to see that one. Not gonna show it? Okay. Well, great. Well, then I'm not entirely sure if I believe that one then. Hold on, is cunt a slur or not? I don't think so. It's an insult. I don't know if that classifies it as a slur. Toxic also continuously makes posts to get Kenji, even if it's unprovoked slash unwanted. Attention towards Kenji, even just randomly links their OCs to Kenji's OCs, even if Kenji didn't even steal from them. I've removed the link to my Twitter to prevent Hapuchina Core from trying to rip off my characters. I have a really bad feeling about it, but me and a friend already established that it is Kenji. Fucking prove it to me, bitch. Hell, I don't know what else to say. Um, it is very creepy how Kenji made a fuck ton of accounts just to stalk people. Prove it, bitch. I guess, um, and I have a suspicion he might have been the one who took screenshots of my art and send it to that exposing account. Prove it, bitch! Also, who cares? <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Kind of deserved it. What, you're mad that they exposed you doing something bad? Maybe just don't do bad things. I don't know. It's almost 11. I'm just fucking tired at this point. I'm gonna stop talking now, not y'all. Thanks for telling us that you're rambling on about this when you're tired and potentially spewing misinformation. I'ma just rant for a bit so the dumbass on Twitter who is literally harassing my friend, show me, bitch, and trying to drag me in their mess saying that my two OCs, T and her sister, looks referenced from Cristali's ugly ass OCs. T is all pink with no fucking little dots on the tips of her ears. That goes for all my wolf characters. I do not support Cristali or White Wolves so that exposing milky person whoever sent from the screenshots of my art can fuck right off, bruh. Oh my god, what is punctuation? How hard is it for you to stay out of people's business? So too, my friend. I know you're tired as fuck from the drama. Um, so right now I'm uh, about redraw some old characters. Also, I still doing custom characters. So DM about, I guess, as uh, probably Kenji behind. Cut off. Great. Um, I had to lock my Twitter account again, possibly because of this person. They have drawn Sophie or the digital girlfriend without my permission. Now the fan art itself is completely fine. Um, I mean, it'd be a little better if they asked me if they could draw her, but nope, they just drew Sophie. Okay, I understand people thinking it's necessary to ask if they can draw fan art, but also I don't get it. Because isn't getting fan art like a really nice, flattering thing? It just feels like someone asking if they can do something nice for you. They also tried to start drama with Kenji specifically, could Kenji do fan art for them? Claimed it wasn't fan art, yeah, lipstick we saw. Personally, to redesign their, yes, because of the fan art, we get it. To gain sympathy, claiming Kenji stole, even though the OC was credited to be toxic and literally tagged toxic. Don't just say this is what Kenji did. Show me Kenji's fucking post. Oh my god. You're gonna be proving me this shit about toxic, but you're just gonna be saying shit about Kenji. Prove it, bitch. I also believe an account calling out Milky on Instagram that they made is Kenji and have used that narrative to post on and attack Kenji to try and restart drama. Coming out and defending themselves is just disgusting. That's not what gaslighting is. You could say they are using it to provoke Kenji into starting the drama. They are not gaslighting Kenji into restarting the drama. Now, you could maybe argue that they are gaslighting Kenji by telling him that talking about the drama is him bringing back and restarting the drama, even in instances where they have actually been trying to keep it going in the past themselves. But again, I would have to see that very specific fucking thing. Milky okay, ripping off another small creator again. Stop trying to act like you care for Toxic when you're literally copying and stealing from them with your alt marshmallow babes. So we know Marshmallow Baby was toxic. I'm still not sure if I believe that Marshmallow Babes was toxic. 
Can you not post my art in comparison? Go fuck yourself, Toxic. You do it to everybody else. Oh my god, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Milk pause. You need to see this. Kenji might be losing their mind right now. They tagged me in this post saying you stole from me when this is an old character you redrew. Uh, that is not the same OC. The fact that I can just see that at the bottom. For your information, this account is not owned by Kenji and the account actually is the same exact bio as one of Toxic. Gets. Oh my god, show me the fucking bio. Stop just telling me shit. Okay, I'm getting really annoyed by this point. We might just move on to a different thing because if they're just gonna constantly reaffirm oh this is or this is not kenji kenji wouldn't do that kenji does this and like this actually is this, like i literally have no reason to believe anyone here show me bitch it's kind of related to kenji not really kenji doesn't own the tabby lavander slushy account which is now deleted but did own some of the characters and artwork that was posted to the account the ocs in question can be found in the toxic two section i must paint because why not second of all i'm only making this post so art thief suck can leave me alone oh i already Already told Tabby, Tabby Lavender Slushy that I'm sorry for stealing your designs. Wow, okay, so you're admitting that you were stealing designs and you got called out for stealing designs and now you're upset that you got called out for stealing designs. Literal goddamn children. Oh yeah, I know I'm doing this bad thing and I can be called out for doing this bad thing, but I don't want to be called out for doing this bad thing, so I'm only going to apologize in the instance where it's negatively affecting me. I'm not going to give a shit if it's negatively affecting someone else. Like, fuck off. Yep. Toxic apologizes for stealing the designs. Yes, yes, yes. Kill me already. Oh my god god this is me right now oh wow i'm sorry this was your fucking response to being called out for stealing people's ocs a pity post fuck off if it was not confirmed that toxic was toxic i feel like this is enough to demonstrate that sorry for stealing you're not sorry for stealing the ocs you're sorry for being called out and caught for stealing the ocs you're sorry because you're getting people being mad at you for stealing the ocs fuck off you're not sorry i didn't know you didn't like having <gasps> i didn't know you wouldn't like having your characters stolen well maybe in that sort of instance you fucking ask you dumb bitch if people have to ask to draw fan art of your characters, but apparently it's totally okay for you to steal someone's characters and be surprised when they don't like it. Rules for thee, not for me. I need to hire someone to make a fucking song about that. Holy shit. I didn't know you didn't like having your stuff stolen or inspired, and I will no longer steal your OCs or designs. I hope you accept this. Up it's not an apology. This is a pity post. This is you whining like a little bitch because you got called out for doing something bad, and in Instead of acknowledging that you did something bad, you just tried to guilt trip everyone else into feeling bad for calling you out. This is what they are claiming is their fucking apology. This is not a goddamn apology. At no point do you say, I'm sorry. Well, except for I'm sorry here, but this is like in tandem with the pity post. Kill me already. I don't like being called out for being a disgusting, deplorable person. I will no longer make go sees based off your characters. Goodbye. It's okay that you apologize. No, they didn't. But don't let Tabby step all over you tabby already stole from cake cows and traced sashley and cake so they're being a hypocrite oh my god everybody's a fucking hypocrite toxic can be seen stealing from kenji multiple times even after apologizing has had recently redo the characters and made them officially theirs which they aren't albino sea bunny here's an example of one of the characters they stolen whatever i would need proof wow so art thief call out is a stalker now i don't remember that earlier so art thief call out is a stalker now <laughs> didn't know that kenji is i guess able oh my fucking god shut the actual hell up toxic kenji is i guess ableist and literally will not stop like can you get the frick off my page you pathetic little keeping track of the fact that i'm actively stealing things from other people and admit to stealing things from other people means you're stalking me oh my god get the frick off my page you pathetic little puppy like stop stalking people stop stalking cake cows she did nothing wrong besides be talented please also instagram is not doing a good job at stopping harassment here that you haven't proven you were being harassed you <laughs> dumb cunt sorry i'm getting frustrated at a 15 year old again involving kenji in something he wasn't involved in even calling him able yeah i want to see that okay that's dumb you can be ableist and be autistic i drew skittles again hoping kenji won't message me again be a triggered karen july are you for fucking real? These were a day apart. August 5th.
August 5th. I want to know the year. Did these all happen the same year? You mean to tell me they did this dumbass shit and then a fucking month later they're bitching because they got called out for stealing somebody's toxic took a gay care. Yeah, we saw. Used it to vent about trans rights. Even commented about Kenji in the description of the post claiming he's a Karen for rightfully a Karen. Calling out the fact the toxic stole from him. Yeah, so I'm sorry, what? So Tabby isn't a Karen for being upset that you stole their characters, but Kenji is. Okay. Take a trans person's OC switching his gender and using it to advocate for trans rights of various Scott. You might say it's very toxic. <laughs> Stay off my page, Kenji. Stop stalking people. You haven't proved that Kenji is stalking you. I drew myself again. New clothes because my mom had a bath. What? <laughs> Anyways, any of Kenji's alt accounts such as Art Thief Call Out and Tabby Lavender. Oh my god, wait. So you're convinced that Tabby Lavender Slushy is Kenji, but you'll quote unquote apologize for stealing quote unquote Kenji's OCs only in instances where you are called out by a third party? Toxic, I expect a big ass fucking apology after this stream. <laughs> Go do something better than literally stalking and harassing people, um Kenji, just because you pull the I'm a victim card doesn't make you valid or the victim. Same with you, dumbass. So stop playing the victim and at least call out actual art thieves instead of- You literally admitted to stealing people's OCs. Fuck off. Instead of spreading false information, it just makes you seem like the bad person you always reply with snarky stuff, so just stop trying to restart drama and Instagram admins do something about people being harassed and stalked here, please. Prove that you're being harassed and stalked, because right now, all I've seen is you admitting to have stolen OCs and then calling someone a Karen. This is gaslighting, actually. Not only are they admitting that they are stealing OCs, and they're admitting that it's apparently bad enough that they have to apologize, quote unquote, this still is not a fucking apology, but they'll only do so in instances where they're called out by a third party, and in any instance where Kenji gets upset because they are doing the exact same fucking thing to him, they present it as though he's the one being unreasonable. This is an example of toxic gaslighting Kenji. You can literally just tell from their fucking Instagram post that we've seen here. I can't gaslight, I'm neurodivergent, and a minor. <laughs> sure. Benji involving Kenji in something he was not involved in, try to claim they are a victim when it isn't as disgusting. Okay, so... June. Boba's pony was created, blah blah, an image posted, Toxic T's original screenshot does not have a date, so I included the date I took the screenshot, Tuesday the 13th, July 2021, which means her drawing was made and posted around Saturday, 10th of July, which means 100% the Toxic stole Boba's OC. Y'all, the clown's at it again, let me make it clear so this idiot can shut his mouth, Skittles is female and Boba's pony- fuck off. Is male Skittles is not a horse sk- you literally said that you take inspiration from your stealing people's OCs. You don't you just take the whole design and be like, Oh, I changed the species. I know you can't fucking tell. Also, I gave her titties. Just because the species- Yeah, just because the species is gender- <laughs> Thank you. If I took your OC, removed its tits, changed its species, is still considered theft toxic. Oh yeah, guaranteed toxic would get on your fucking case for doing that. If toxic is being all like, Oh my god, palette theft. Sad- <laughs> Me, a minor, bruh, I'm 15 years old, what the fuck? This is fine. She's Nora the Wolf, Pedo, Hunt, you're a sussy baka, go die, you stupid fat bitch, groomer, you're milky, stupid pedo, you stole, delete, I wanna see all of this. Like, this is a straw man. Let me just throw out all this shit that Kenji is supposedly accusing me of, but not actually provide any of the evidence that Kenji is accusing me of this shit. No! I don't believe you. Period. Reminds me of the Twitter thing. Um, don't talk to me. I'm literally a minor in neurodivergent. This is fine. Ooh, ooh. By the way, I'm turning this account into a shitpost account. Kenji has always been like this, sadly. I hope his family finds out. I hope the fucking parents of this minor finds out that they are harassing people and like doing the fucking rules for thee, not for me bullshit. Kenji has never said any of those things toward- well, okay, I don't believe the doc writer, but I do acknowledge that Toxic has to prove that Kenji said these things towards them. Otherwise, we literally have no reason to believe them. We've also already seen that they are both willing to lie for their own benefit and that they will be straight up fucking hypocrites and only apologize for things when they are blatantly called out by a third party. But if they're called out by Kenji, they will accuse him of being a Karen and gaslight him into thinking that his concerns are ridiculous, despite the fact that they acknowledge that these concerns are valid for other fucking people. So... They only got involved after Toxic stole from them. They are currently trying to use these events to claim they are the victim. Even after this whole document proves otherwise, they're only- yeah, like, if you want to accuse Kenji, which you're obviously fucking doing by indicating that this is Kenji, you have to show me goddamn screenshots. Because you've proven to me you're a fucking liar. Thanks, Toxic. They're only doing this to guilt trip others into believing they are the victim when they aren't. That's not guilt trip. 
tripping. It's definitely manipulative. I will concede to that. I don't think that's guilt tripping, however. This is guilt tripping! <laughs> Get off the fucking internet, you petty child. Wow, Kenji, you must really like me, lol, says the person constantly talking about it. Kenji does not like- oh my god. He has gone on record to say multiple times, blah blah blah. All of that aside, I do generally think Toxic is using this to try and gain attention towards their account, considering Kenji has not attacked Toxic, but instead defended their own art pieces after Toxic not only made false accounts pretending to be him, but blatantly stole his character. You know what? I want to check these accounts. Let's see how many of these still work. Toxic T? All right, I'm gonna assume that's defunct. Sad Pastel Bunny 1. Nope. Okay, next. Marshmallow Babes. I don't think that one exists, but we'll give it a try. There's a new username for the account. It's active on Twitter and Facebook. I can link both in your DMs. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That would be great. Yep. <laughs> Jump off the cliff. Okay. <laughs> What is with you and all the cows? You really like these cow characters, huh? <laughs> not your mom, not your milk. <laughs> what is this bullshit? Brown goat girl adopt. These designs are so fucking simplistic and they have the nerve to sell them for $10. I love her so much, ooh woo. Somebody draw fan art. <laughs> I don't think this character is wearing pants. So confirmed at least one account that is still active. 115 pages, oh my god. So all of that aside, I do generally think that Toxic is using this to try and gain attention towards their accounts Considering Kenji, I mean, I could see that, has not attacked Toxic, instead defended- Again, grain of salt on that one. Granted, Toxic has not shown anything to indicate that Kenji is going after them, stalking them, or harassing them. Literally, the only things that they have been able to show is shit that they have made up. Also, please, somebody send Happy Soft this stream so that they are aware that their stash was based on misinformation. I think they're not aware. I literally think the only reason they removed the stash is because I called it out in the stream as being bad. I don't think that they know that it was completely based on lies. Based on what I've seen, at least. Happy Soft knows? Oh, so them being all like, Ponder Sprocket made fun of the fact that I was raped. Please don't tell me that just has to do with them being salty because I called out the bad info. I do remember that. That's not what I made fun of, by the way. I laughed at their naivety, not the fact that they were sexually assaulted. Instead, defended their own art pieces after Toxic not only made false accounts pretending to be him, but blatantly stole his characters, as we saw. Okay, y'all. So Kenji, aka Art Thief Callout, still wants to be dumb. Uh, this is the date for when I drew Skittles. Toxic straight up shows evidence they stole this piece. Wait, what? But tries to pass it off as if they never stole anything. But yeah, here's 100% date taken. July 4th. When was Kenji's piece for? 16th of June. Yep. June, July. I find this next post laughable. Report the shit out of Art Thief Callout they traced. What? Oh. <laughs> so Toxic is either being willfully ignorant, really stupid, or they're pretending to be mad and they're once again gaslighting. <laughs> what is even happening in this doc? Uh, hell. I think they're like 16 now though, so like hopefully they grow out of it. I'm trying to get to the bottom of what Kenji has been accused of, and in doing so it's demonstrating that this 16 year old has been exceedingly toxic and has been actively gaslighting. <laughs> in some of these posts. So even though Toxic has stolen from Kenji multiple different times and also recently used the same character as an official OC. Yeah. The character's a play on Kenji's OC's real name with his Roxanne and also adds to the dead naming Toxic has done towards Kenji considering his old username was Prinrose Roseanne. Eh, well, that's a little bit of a stretch. Maybe if the character's name was specifically Primrose. You can clearly tell Toxic will not leave Kenji alone as they have also recently stolen one of his adoptable characters and just removed a lot of the details. Yeah, we already saw that. So now we're getting the date of November 6th. I assume this is 2021. A lot of this seems to be 2021, but you know what? Maybe we can find it. Oh, nope. I think I've also got the Twitter. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> Don't DM me about drama. You mean the drama that you deliberately try to- I guess we count as milky wilky friends, guys. You too, Angel. Good lord. This is me drawing a character, it's original because it's a bunny and a femboy. Oh, whoa, never mind, I stole it from Toxic, didn't I? If I can't use it's got a different gender and species as an excuse, then Toxic can't either. Okay, fair. Although, I don't see why that example is relevant here unless Toxic were directly to respond to it. Like, you would have to, like, actually hear from Toxic that this is you stealing. You're just implying that Toxic would say that. Toxic T telling him? Recently, Toxic T and a couple of their friends have a tell dedicated to attacking not only Kenji, but all friends as well. Currently, their tells are being absolutely bombarded with slurs, homophobic, transphobic comments, even blatant lies. Inside of this was also a telly pretending to be Kenji, but since it recently got removed due to the fact it copied Kenji, I'll be showing the screenshots I personally saved. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know how tell works. I'm sure this could easily be faked. 
this implies like a lot of frequent good lord kenji's harassment toxic has accused kenji of harassment many many times this time it is because he was actually being dead named and having someone steal his artwork toxic claims the account was made as a joke and had zero malicious intent which makes me believe the accounts are actually toxic actively dead naming and stealing from kenji to gaslight him into starting drama that's not what gaslighting means to provoke him into restarting the drama and then using their account to complain about kenji to spark people into harassing him which i believe is personally disgusting behavior kenji is now harassing a person for having the same account as him as a joke <laughs> and threatening to call the police on them kenji if you were really done with drama you wouldn't be constantly responding to posts of this is from november 18th last year so they were still going on about this up until 2020 fucking two Honey. This was taken from the exposing account on Kenji, which we believe is toxic. Kenji was in distress and didn't actually self-harm as a result. Oh, okay. So fair warning, guys. This might be Kenji reacting badly, potentially. We'll see how things go. We had evidence sent to us about this. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. So well done, toxic. No, we don't blame people for that. Yes, the harassment isn't okay, but it's not okay to blame people for our individual coping mechanisms. Sorry in advance. I'm glad that you acknowledged that. Yeah, this is from, well, the day after. How is me literally getting death threats told to end myself being dead named and having my whole account be copied by a random stranger pretending to be me selling off adults I already sold oh having the same account as a joke are you this dumb do you know if there's any evidence of that in here Kenji because that's like a thing that you would probably want to get the current owners of those characters involved in because like they're the ones incentivized they're not only stealing my own copyrighted content but are pretending to be me and using this to claim things that I have never done such as cheat on my boyfriend or not have one in the first place I threatened to call the police because they are pretending to be me I don't want to hear you say this I want you to fucking show me Me threatening and actually calling police isn't me starting drama it's me standing up for the fact that my stuff was stolen yeah who's like oh they called the cops on me drama <laughs> you're a drama whore for calling the cops you apologize to me over telling him I apologize to you but yet you still attack me for defending my own property yikes whoever screenshotted this you have to screenshot the fucking images too oh my god Allegedly, this is an apology, but we literally can't see who it's between, so. You can get them? Okay, that would be good, thank you. Actually, yeah, I guess they would be on your account. From November. Inside of this account, too, it was actively using slurs and attacking Kenji. Even after Kenji had apologized to Toxic, and Toxic had apologized to Kenji, which I feel is backstabbing behavior. This plus Toxic is pushing all of the fake accounts they have made onto Kenji and claiming he is stealing from Toxic when he isn't. Yep, we definitely saw Toxic doing that. And then fucking actually using Gaslight when trying to prove that Toxic didn't steal from Kenji, despite the fact that we know they did. Okay, so this is the screenshot for someone copying my account on Telly. Oh, okay. Kenji just sent me this. This is a screenshot of a Telenim account that he says is not his, and it's where someone is pretending to be him so that they can say this. I did in fact stalk and harass Toxic T. I bullied her until she deleted her account. I made fake accusations even though she apologized but I still stole from her in which she stole from me and I still post about her because I'm a stalker I made a document which me and my stalker friends found her accounts also I didn't know they were fake accounts and I'm still scared because of the harassment so Kenji is saying this isn't him someone made this account to direct more harassment towards him bro how obvious do you have to be when you put down I'm a stalker like that screams fake account yeah Kenji sent me this as evidence that the account holder wasn't them and now this so this is Kenji reporting the account, and this is evidence that they were pretending to be Kenji. Okay, so here are the tweet images I was asking for. Hey, um, you don't have to respond to this, but the account that has sent you those hateful tells isn't me. It was an imposter and a bad guy from Instagram that harassed me, but still, I'm sorry for everything I done to you. I hope you get better. This is from Marshmallow Baby. So unless this is somebody else pretending to be them, we know that this is toxic. From Kenji, thank you so much for the apology. I wanted to respond to you here instead of publicly. I'm so sorry for the things I have done to you which have hurt you, and I wish for this drama to just stop. I really don't want to continue drama with you. I wish you the best and keep drawing. Your art pieces are really cute. Marshmallow Baby responds, It's okay, I don't want this drama to continue either, but you know, I never say any of the things that Impersonator has said. Also, I will keep drawing. I wish you the best as well. And then Kenji sent this to showcase that this was coming from an account impersonating them. And a pic of Kenji's actual account here. 
obviously very fucking close. Join October 2021 versus November 2021. So this account definitely came about after Kenji's. There's no direct indication as to who was behind the account, but we know that this was not fucking Kenji. Okay, I get it. So Kenji is not allowed to go after people who are actively harassing him. Once again, I'm not entirely sure about this one, but this one also feels like gaslighting. They're like, oh, it's bad for you to go against this account because, you know, they're only pretending to be you as a joke. And then they're just completely ignoring all of the shit that the account is actually doing. Kenji's bad for being upset that someone is actively pretending to be him in order to ruin his reputation even further and direct more harassment towards him. So Kenji's bad for standing up for himself. Actually, yes, did we have confirmation? I'm pretty sure the top did confirm. Yeah exposing Hanson Kenji. Now, I do want to see confirmation on that. If the Instagram thing showcased that, like, you could have blocked all of those accounts, actually, I guess you wouldn't be able to get that at this point because, like, how many of them are fucking deleted? But, like, if a screenshot of that exists to demonstrate that, yes, these accounts were directly connected. Impersonating is illegal as fuck, man. You can get into very serious trouble for impersonating a defamation of character. Yep. They confirmed it to be them. Not sure if the screenshot was posted or where it was posted, if it was ever posted. They did confirm it was them. Okay. Yeah, any screenshot of them confirming it was them. I can't remember individually which ones we've seen Toxic admit to and which one we've seen her fucking gaslight us. Consistently private to unprivacy or consistently updating the account view path Kenji has done. The account on Twitter is the same, both are private. Evidence of me stealing is kind of lackluster. So the evidence for this one is that they private and unprivate around the same time. I'm a little confused on this. If I could get one thing to prove that these are the same accounts, that would mean that once fucking more, Toxic is gaslighting Kenji. Because if Toxic is behind the exposing Kenji account and is deliberately going around claiming that Kenji was stalking them and doing all of these horrible things, obviously deliberately trying to ruin Kenji's fucking reputation. And, you know, with the whole, oh yeah, I stole from her, blah blah blah, even though we know that Toxic has been stealing from Kenji this whole time, this would once a fucking get and be gaslighting. Was this an artificially created harassment campaign to defend this Kenji person? I'm a bit lost, sorry. The part we're going over here is the confirmation that this user Toxic T, also known as Fruit Loop Milk, they created a fake account and then gaslit Kenji by claiming that it was like bad for Kenji to quote unquote harass a person having the same account name as him quote unquote as a joke, despite the fact that this account was actively spreading false information about Kenji in order to get Kenji harassed by the community. And they were just like, uh, Kenji, you being upset about that is really fucking dumb. Grow up. Kenji, if she legitimately tried to get you kicked out of college, I don't know how much money you have, but you should probably go talk to a lawyer. Unironically. I don't know to what extent you would be able to get them, or like to what extent you would be able to go after them in court, but you should probably go to a lawyer and at the very least see what your options are. This plus Toxic is pushing all of the fake accounts they have made onto Kenji and claiming he's stealing from Toxic when he isn't. We also saw that Toxic was stealing from Kenji, so this may just be projection. One of the accounts was the account including child pornography. Okay, I have to repeat, you can get toxic for what she actually did. That isn't CP. Don't accuse her of drawing CP. It's not okay. There comes a point, I've seen a lot, where people are so determined to do the right thing that at some point it falls into obsession and constantly shitting on the person because they're better than even if they're right about the accused. It doesn't make what they keep doing right. It comes unhealthy as fuck. Yeah. The accounts that were attacking Kenji made him constantly paranoid to the point where he couldn't sleep and was dropping behind on classes. Currently sitting in class scared for the next Twitter notification harassing me, constantly checking my phone and my back, it's making me so paranoid. The account then decided after Kenji had called them out to private over Twitter and Instagram but still kept the telly. Kenji and his friends sent them tell after tell informing them the police would be called if the account was not taken down but they refused to listen. I remember Kenji claiming that him and his friends striped down the account pretending to be him and the account went down yesterday because of it. Oh there you go. The picture below shows Kenji tweeting about the fact that the impersonation account blocked him and his friends after being scared because they threatened to mass report the account for pretending to be him. He used his old Twitter username, Hasten Kenji. I definitely thought I said Hanson earlier. <laughs> Moved because he was being harassed and also uses a ton of his characters which they actually planned on selling. 
Yeah, I want to see that one. Yes, because I totally blocked myself. <laughs> 10 out of 10 impersonation right there. Yes, because Hanson Kenji versus Hanson's adopts, and then Hanson Kenji is his, you know, title title. Kenji's boyfriend actually ended up following this account, believing it to be a name change of Kenji, but got confused at the followers and actually asked him about the account, which led to him figuring out it existed. That's funny. Not with Toxic, but with Toxic's friends. Toxic, yeah, I think individually Toxic has only been on this for like a year, but apparently this is like potentially multiple people this is just like we're just going over one of the fuckers maybe just maybe if people inside the chat were a bit different and refused to believe in the shit orange is spitting i'm still fucking mad that harley made that video because like we went over it whatever orange fucking presented was garbage and i'm now disappointed that it's still fucking up because now we know it was wrong Oh, hey, Moxie. We watched your video earlier. Actually, I think your video helped me realize something about the last stream I did. So that was nice. I'm sorry, what? Oh, no. Is that in the video? In my DMs, posted it publicly to his server, but then deleted it after being called out. I would have to see that. Okay, guys, so that might be something that comes up later then, because this is not the only fucking thing we have to go over. This research stream is probably going to be cut into multiple parts because of how much stuff that there is. Because on top of this, there's also the Google drive folders, which involves, according to Kenji, evidence against everyone who's harassing him, which includes censored evidence of them doxing him, as well as evidence from first party and third party sources that these people indeed did spread child pornography. We'll get there. I did warn you it got spicy. Harley has quite a bit of nonsense, including ableism. Harley TBS is in the Google document. Oh, Harley's in the Google Drive. Okay, thank you. The Google Drive will be going over probably right after this. Okay, so Kenji posted about this account to inform his followers about the situation. This is him not only informing his fans of the situation, but his friends too, and also informing them the account is an impersonation of his, down to the T, down to a T, with his flags, banner, and profile picture and everything. If it wasn't for the fact that his boyfriend told him about the account, out, he wouldn't have found out. Well, he wouldn't have found out immediately. He might have found out at some point. Things that give it away was the nine hours ago pinned tweet. Yeah. The fact that there is a gap in the name, the date it joined, and the follower plus following account. So I guess they failed on that accord. When I was with a few people and they were calling CP, I had to sit there and explain how it didn't seem to be CP or someone wanting me to have Kenji's address, and I immediately shut that offer down. What the fuck? And scolded the person. Those conversations really stuck with me and made me question. If you still have that conversation, I would recommend going and screenshotting that like all of it right now because if you have evidence that kenji's detractors are going around behind the scenes doxing him that would be really helpful for kenji yeah if you could double check because like i believe you don't have a reason to lie i'm just saying like that would be really really good for kenji and for anybody who wanted to make an additional video talking about this process because it would demonstrate that these fuckers are like deliberately going around behind the scenes doxing kenji and trying to cause issue for him so not only would that be helpful to kenji in like a legal sense probably that would be helpful to anyone who's trying to demonstrate what these people are doing because it's not just what they do publicly it's the stuff they do behind the scenes that is also important it was deleted of okay that's a shame but that's okay it would have made me want to fucking punch everybody in whatever chat you were in but that would have been really interesting <laughs> name and shame <laughs> so yes we know this is a fake account i know these accounts belong to toxic because someone in kenji's dms informed him of this the fact that toxic is going around being all like oh uh, this account is just a joke and gaslighting kenji Kenji already indicates to me that Toxic is either behind the account or Toxic knows who is behind the account. Just from the way Toxic is acting, that's the conclusion I come to. Like, if we know they're behind the exposing Kenji account, that already says so much. I do not have access slash copyright to any of the adopts anymore because I have sold them, which is why I urge anyone who has bought an OC from me to copyright strike down the characters that they have bought. Yeah. I am striking the account from Personace, and also please be careful, the account also has a telly. Please either inform them to take the account down or report it as impersonating me and spreading lies such as me being single. <laughs> Inside of this, he also informs everyone to report because it is stealing their designs as well as the telonym. Yeah, so is telonym just like another Discord? It's an anon Q&A site. Oh, great. Milky actually came to me and admitted Toxic was behind some of the accounts impersonating me and even proved Toxic uses a website, which means they can bypass being detected by apps. Apps can be downloaded, which shows who stalks consistently looks at your account and the website Toxic uses bypasses so 
Ooh. So I got something to show you about those fake accounts. They may or may not be toxic. You didn't hear that from me, and please don't tell anyone you did. Oops. I won't, but thank you for clearing my mind about the situation. She's talking about it in the Discord GC. She didn't directly say it was her, but it kind of implied it. We'll see the zoom in on that. Please don't post this or anything. But it kind of implies that she may be the one running those accounts. Yeah, oh, I wasn't going to post it. I just didn't want it to be like someone random joining the drama or one of my exes. Oh, I honestly believe most of the accounts being made are for her. She's never directly said it, so I can't back it up fully. And then, according to this from Marshmallow, which I guess, yeah, obviously toxic based on the artwork if we assume that everybody uses their own artwork y'all kenji's still talking about the fake account like someone cares oh my god what is that on twitterstalker.com his dumbass is still talking about like oh wow toxic has owned an exposing account on milky for a while even though they, they refuse to admit it i've done this to cause i think that's supposed to be excess drama between me and milky which is not needed flimsy and whimsical <laughs> flimsical okay connections between character designs like they did to me they consistently harass dead name and stalk people too, including Kenji, myself, and multiple other users inside of drama. The stalking got to the point where some deleted their accounts and others have mass blocked slash reported the account and even told it to stop posting because it's posting lies, but the account is still up and chugging sadly. Okay, well, there's nothing really to showcase there. You might as well be a whole circus at this point. Apart from that, you can clearly tell this person is toxic. They have the exact same art style, same exact way of typing, and same exact writing style. Toxic, you aren't fooling anyone. You are relentlessly attacking an autistic trans person for legit no reason you admitted to someone you were using a third party website to stalk this account after he has you blocked yeah if this is toxic then we know that wow is this literally just another case of projection where like everything toxic is accusing kenji of is actually shit that toxic is doing to kenji like toxic was going off about kenji is stalking her and here she's literally using a twitter stalker website and you also admitted you have posted and redistributed <laughs> with regards to the pictures of kenji this thing about posting and redistributing has some validity Perhaps. We'll get into that with the Google Doc. We'll go over everything to check. Not making. Let's be sure about that. Also, calling the police on Kenji won't do anything considering you're the one harassing him and not the other way. Wait, so they were all like, oh, Kenji, you're so fucking dumb for calling the police, but also they threatened to do the same thing. Schizo Circus's artwork. I don't want to accuse something of being ableist, but again, unless they are diagnosed schizophrenic or with schizoaffective disorder, it just seems weird. There's definitely a similarity to the eye shapes. There's definitely a similarity to the arms just kind of go out like that. Didn't they draw spiky hands earlier? I mean, it kind of looks a little similar. Okay, I wanted to look at the titties. Because they draw the titties the same. All these draw the titties the same! It's legit the same, yeah, whatever. Also, no Kenji is an NB-phobic for calling Schizo Circus she, her, considering those pronouns- Oh my fucking god. She was later informed the pronoun change being they, it, but still, if she, her was in the bio, why would Kenji call them they, it? Yeah. Especially because they, it is not included here. They deleted their account after this went up, proving it's toxic. So, yeah, allegedly, after this Google Doc went up, they deleted the account. No, we do not mean Ken- Yeah, whatever. Kenji's not NB-phobic, Jesus fuck. Again, inside of the new deleted Twitter, their pronouns were she here. Yeah, we get it. Case and Henji. As I was making this exact section, Toxic came in to read and say hi. So hi, Toxic. Anyways, Toxic has made an account dead naming Case and Kenji, also known as Kenji, by using part of their dead name, Rosaline Rose, Rosie, on their account after they specifically made a post saying not to use those as they are nicknames he does not like, associate them, feels like those are dead names to him. They them are an artist to copy or steal. Oh god. Really? You can clearly see Case and Henji is a plant. No, duh. They say they are a furry artist because the stuff Kenji makes with their tracing. And while I'm at it, Toxic goes by they, them. It's its pronouns or pronouns are seen in their profile. Oh, does Toxic actually go by they, them? I've been using she, her. Yep, they, it's dolls. Oh, she. Okay, never mind. Okay, cool. Toxic also dead name him with the Rosie. Again, is transphobic because they link him with the wrong pronouns. Case and Henji, rabbit, cute art, artist, doggo, adorable, cute art. Three. Yep, adopt bot. She Art. The account uses the exact same hashtags as Kenji's Twitter and Instagram has been tracing over his sold adopts and selling them off, which is disgusting. You can clearly tell they are pretending to be Kenji, which is why, yep. November 7th, you can clearly tell it's Kenji's art style traced from Kenji, but for anyone who's gonna blart like toxic, like a crybaby, be like, wow, maybe as a reference, this is a different OC. <laughs> Kenji traced for them. This is from November 7th. Oh, and this was also posted in a- Oh, God. Ugh. This fucker's doing it the same goddamn day and wants to be all, like, 
like, oh, this other person is stalking. This is projection, like, flat fucking out. It really does seem like everything that Toxic is accusing Kenji of is shit that Toxic is directly doing to Kenji on purpose. So yeah, I just removed the artwork traced over, although both were posted the same day. Yeah, I noticed that. Kenji's was first. The account is privated, and Kenji does not have access to it. The screenshots of the account were given to us by another member of the art community who dislikes Toxic. Wow, so Kenji wasn't even screenshotting this shit. Oh, yeah, there's another one. So they're not selling the adopts, and the adopts are at least clearly different. But the fact that they're tracing over Kenji's fucking art and giving away adopts. Like, oh my god, bitch, get a life. You can now tell who's it. First is Kenji was posted two days before theirs. November 7th versus November 9th. Yep. They removed the ender pearl and tail in this image and looked original when they clearly traced Kenji and gave away the OC. Kenji, I mean, to be fair, the OC is at least different enough. But yeah, it's fucking weird that they're tracing Kenji and then selling the characters they trace from him. Trigger warning is something bad coming up. They have informed the person who adopted the character that this person is pretending to be them and consistently stealing tracing from Kenji just so they do not use the character they adopted. In short, not only is Toxic dead naming Kenji but is pretending to be him while using the wrong pronouns for him as well as tracing his stuff properly recolor- Hi, Kenji. So yes, uh, the images to come do involve self-injury. They're not real-life images, it is artwork. But if you guys are uncomfortable with that, maybe walk away for a little bit, okay? Toxic stock on Kenji. So I wanted to talk about the recent document made on Kenji and why I believe it is toxic. Attempted to cover up the fact this document exists and the fact that they have made literal- No, skipping that because we know it's not true. I won't be censoring stuff because Toxic didn't either. This is from allegedly Toxic's Google Doc. The problematic past and present of Kenji. On Kenji's very old deviant an account he has posted some art that had triggering oh my god and as of right now he is blackwashing characters i don't care they're saying this person drew edgy stuff when they were younger uh problematic this one didn't put a mature tag man i have artwork that i didn't put the fucking mature tag on i mean admittedly sure in some instances where someone came up and they were like hey maybe put a mature filter on it i was like yeah sure whatever not being censored they take the piss out of someone's bent art for not being censored when they were around 14 to 16 yep clearly a cry for help and you're using it to call out someone who's already in a deteriorating mental state because of yep they're right about that how about you put a hard filthy throbbing disgusting revolting dick up your egotistical arse and go fuck yourself this one's funny to me you could tell it's targeted you can't tell if it's targeted towards anyone considering this is yandere oc holding a knife oh and quoting a youtube video from a call out drama video i am heavily suggesting this is just a quote linked with a drawing and not a post aimed towards anyone also considering your newest post included not targeted to Kenji and calls out he's narcissistic for thinking so. I'm gonna use that here. So you're narcissistic for believing this is aimed towards anyone. Imagine being a clown. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. User had stupid fucking arguments right up back against them. Claims he does not support Cristalli, but he uses the little who cares? Like, someone could think that's a cute design. Fan art made for Cristalli before he became publicly known as a pedophile. Yeah, so made in 2018. You're bad for not preemptively knowing this person was evil. Which could literally be applied to Cristalli's entire fucking fan base. Oops. Yeah, we don't care. That's a stupid complaint. It's like me saying anyone who cosplays as murderers support murder. Are you this dumb? Yeah. Drag him. This one he traced and didn't put a mature tag on it. Oh yeah, it's traced from Doki Doki. So you decide not to either. Suicide is a sensitive topic. Toxic. Anyways, you don't even need to claim this is traced if Kenji themselves admit it to it being traced on their old TV act. Oh, okay, we're done. The essay. So evidence of stock. Oh, okay. We already know toxic stocks Kenji. For some reason, I thought this was toxic's evidence for why Kenji was stalking her. Since the drama toxic has admitted multiple times to stalking Kenji, as well as posting evidence and admitting to people's DMs that they have indeed stalked and harassed Kenji on multiple occasions. From Strawberry Paws, which yes, I believe that was confirmed to be one of toxic's accounts. No, there's no mention of Strawberry Paws. Wait, so who the fuck is Strawberry Paws? It's not on. Yeah, okay. So it is toxic. Okay, yeah. This is not listed as one of the accounts. So since Kenji wants to be a creepy stalker and play the victim and continue to be a transphobic asshole, Kenji's trans. Um, I mean, yeah, Blair White exists. Kenji, you can go fuck yourself because no one actually has time to deal with your stupid fucking ass. How about you just quit social media already instead of- Wow, yeah. Continuing to argue with a child you've been stalking and harassing me since I was 13 and you refuse to stop, so fuck off and keep my name off your shitty page, cunt. I only apologize because you 
forced me. Confirmation Toxic was not fucking apologetic. And I guess maybe that's reason why she then went on to pretend to be Kenji in another account, from what I believe. As recently as five days ago, they posted this proving they're a stalker. They use a stalker app to stop Kenji. Yeah. Wait, so that lets you view private accounts too? <laughs> and like I said, stop sending him screenshots. You're only helping him stalk me. <laughs> so you're admitting that other people are sending some of this shit to Kenji and he might not be getting it himself. And you know, directly using a stalker app in order to stalk him while claiming that he's stalking you. I want to say this is gaslighting again. Recently is five, yeah, proving they use a stalker app, so furry. Side of toxic so furry account, which was shown inside of their recent YouTube post. If you can clearly show it, why didn't you screenshot it? Space Milk Milky, also known as just Space Milk, is an account confirmed to be owned by Toxic. Space Milk had a lot of drawings of tracings from Milky, Banana Milkshake, and dedicated themselves to making fan art for either pedophiles or pedophile supporters. Not safe for work. The account in question not only traced and made not safe for work out of art pieces, but at one point had a bunch of- no. Like, what do you mean? Like, were the characters 13? Did it actually look like 13 year olds? Because I'm gonna be honest, I don't think fucking Toxic is good enough to draw actual CP. Her art is not detailed enough to be able to showcase that to, like, any degree that would, like, legally get her in trouble. Your honor, my client is too incompetent to draw- I mean! <laughs> that basically is their excuse. My art is bad, so it can't be CP, because you can't fucking tell how old anyone is. Stop accusing her of drawing CP. It wasn't right for her to do it to you, you can't be doing it to her. Like, everything regarding that should be removed from this fucking document. The account also dedicated themselves to making fan art of pedophiles, pedophile supporters, one of them being Cristali themselves. The account was recently updated to say that they were basically Milky, which also means they attempted to impersonate Milky after being called out for drawing CP and pedo fan art. So, this user, Base Milk Milky, has not only followed me, but they are back and tracing slash making not safe for work art of banana cows art. No, why was it censored up here if you were just gonna not censor here? Again! Call out shows that they trace Milky and turns that artwork into porn. Do still have the same traces art for the White Wolf. I did have some not safe work of minors OCs, but they got taken care of. Simple, Toxic recently liked Milky's private account post, which was only liked by Toxic and one other person. Same exact post was traced. Basically proves to us without a shadow of a doubt it's Toxic. You can trace something without liking it. The account even attacked people in chronological order of who called them out first. I'd have to see that, but that's fair. Moon Milkshake. Moon Milkshake is an account that was randomly made. Toxic bought up as existing just after it followed Milky. Ew. Toxic seems to have a habit of figuring out when every single suspicious account exists for some reason, which kind of leads us to believe it is them. As of recently, Toxic claimed the account is heavily referencing from Milky, which is why I personally believe it is 100% toxic themselves. Tiny account in question. Pastel devil love. I mean, the fact that the eyes and the titties are the same, they're just using a different brush. Actually, you know what? They've got better necks. Second one in question even looks like Crystallia and Nora the Wolf got combined. That's just you guessing. Fuck off. This one looks somewhat similar to an art trade Milky did. Show it. How does that at all look similar? Can't even keep up with this shit anymore. Teddies. 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 We know for a fact the last one in question is heavily inspired reference from Milky's goth Garfield drawing. That's supposed to be Garfield? Even if it's referenced, that's different enough that I don't care. This is their most recent post, which looks somewhat similar to Sky Art's new profile picture. Who the fuck is Sky Art? <laughs> is the end of the account for now. Suspected as toxic considering the use, blah 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 blah. Of their account, someone noticed that Toxic was mixing styles between Milky and Milky's friend Olive just to attempt to piss them off. They made a yellow version of my plush drawing. They have the little droop things on the eyes like Olive does. Who fucking cares? Whatever. Please do not care to steal a copy of my art. Kind of proves my eyes is kind of toxic. Who cares? Yeah, just from the eyes and the titties, I would not be surprised. Check the M on the watermark. Oh yeah, you're right. <gasps> oh yeah, but the L is, the L is different. But the M is similar. Oh my god, the fact that it is once again riding along the edge of the character and it's bubbled out with a stupid swiggly line. Yeah, this straight up looks like Toxic's goddamn writing. So does this up here mean that she also went by cute hell play 112? Because again, this has the fucking L's. You might have another account to write down, my boy. Candy Hearts 666. Yep, that one's definitely confirmed. I knew that one. So obvious. A banana milkshake. Jake is a new recent account, also made by Toxic. No, so yeah, I mean, God, how do you people keep track of so many fucking accounts? The post seemed to somewhat resemble Milky, Milky's friends with C's. First ever posting account was a steal from Milk's friend, Sky Millie. Uh, no. I'm sorry, maybe it's because it's drawn so poorly, but no. <laughs> that one's potentially closer. But that's about it, and it's basically just more inspiration, at least not tracing. This one isn't as obvious, dark ears, the patches under the eyes, the lipstick, the purple of the shoulder, shirt, exactly, yeah, whatever. 
new art style. By which she means rehashing my old art style. Titties, still draw his titties the same, your giant ass fucking no collarbone looking neck. Swiggles around your stupid ass name. Going around the character. I see your titties. Pick out a lot of stuff around it. Even Garner talks it themselves to claim this account, which is proof to be them, has traced themselves. Hey Mimi Kai, nice try ripping off Kenji. I know you don't like him, but please stop acting childish. Hey, I know you're upset, but this has seriously gone on too long. You say you apologize, yet you make all these accounts copy, trace, and heavily referencing stealing from Banana Moo Shake, Lavender Tofu Adopts, and Sky Arts 07. Please stop. This whole thing is unneeded and dumb. Please, Mimi, I am asking you as a friend, stop. This whole thing could just go away, I'm sure. So I feel like Toxic isn't gonna stop because otherwise she can't get any attention to her artwork. Rather than focusing on improving her craft, she would just focus on trying to be the drama whore of the community, I guess. This whole thing could just go away. I'm sure those you have targeted will forgive you if you really apologize and take it. I think they just move on if she fucking stopped. Since we all did shitty things, it's up to us to understand that and learn from our mistakes. That's true. Okay, so directly from Moo Shake Cow. It's not tracing, but directly copying, sure. Wait, how the fuck is this traced? A banana shit shake or a banana milkshake. Not only stole, but they traced. Sorry if the overlap is shitty. I had to move things around, but they traced the eyes and eyelashes. I can literally see that the eyelashes do not fucking match here. This one too. I'm pretty sure the eyelashes are in the back. That one definitely doesn't match up. This one doesn't. No. They got traced. Yep. You can see Toxic really had to reach this claim. This trace. They added the whole face and the breast and slightly tilted the <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I didn't realize this was Toxic claiming that it had been traced. Obviously, yeah, it's not. Cam's most recent drawing is this. I'm not sure if it traces anything. Probably not. I look like how Toxic draws titties. They uploaded again, referencing off Milky. They updated the username to claim they are Kenji themselves. Kenji the Wolf. Have used this account to post disgusting traces. Stop accusing her of that. White Wolf fan art and have dedicated it to stealing from others. They have uploaded a lot more skimming through their account. It seems that they have also stolen and traced. This one stole from Kenji's very old Minecraft themed character, Rosaline. Oh, so a self insert, probably. I believe this one is stolen from someone random off of Toxic's For You page. You could say it's inspired. This one is traced from Hanson's Adopts. Yeah. This one of Kenji's was posted 17 hours ago. The screenshot was put. Yeah, so this one's Toxic's. The original screenshot was posted 58 minutes ago. Both screenshots were taken one minute apart from each other. Wait, oh my god. 17 hours ago, 58 minutes ago. Oh, Sugar Cookie Kitten. That's why I was confused, because that was this account, Sugar Cookie Kitten. Was that in this? I don't remember that either. Sugar, nope. That's also not on the list. I should probably also be on the list. Toxic recently changed their username and started attacking their old friends about situations because they removed themselves from a heavily toxic environment that was bad for their mental health. I'd like to announce that me and Dexie are no longer friends. Even though I was the one who made their post about Kenji public and helped the post be noticed, Dixie, do not or ever contact me again, not even on your alt account. You truly proved that even though me and your ex-friends tried to help you, you instead just forgot about all of it. Sorry about this, y'all, but you know, what, fuck it. I'm tired of making up excuses. I will possibly just disable this account. Um, fuck everyone who tried to hurt me. Talks of themselves also made a secondary account, Bago Pop, yep, on Twitter dedicated to attempting to apologizing to Kenji themselves and even change their name and pronouns yet again. Fika Pop, hey, I know you probably fucking hate me, but I do actually want to apologize to you, okay? I'm sorry for dead naming you and stealing and harassing you. I wanted to actually come a fucking apologize to you in person instead of a video or a post, but I just wanted to tell you that the Kenji the Wolf account is actually not me. Maki is just lying and actually has no proof of it being me. <laughs> this Twitter account has been deactivated as of, I think that's supposed to be January 24th, 2022. Inside of Discord, Toxic continued to use their friendships to manipulate others into believing I was a bad person, the Kenji the Wolf account, as they own is owned by a recent ex of Kenji's, which he apparently cheated on. Poppy Cows. Poppy is a new account made by Toxic. Fruit Loop Milk. Ah, uh, yeah, we know that one. Fruit Loop Milk is the person's new Instagram as well as Facebook, a Twitter account, which they decided to dedicate to stealing character sites. This piece is traced from Milky Milky. Oh, that's it. Okay. 